Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will take a look at the latest update for Samsung Internet. Now there are two different Samsung Internets you can use. You can see here that I have two different icons. Now the reason why I have two different icons is I have the regular one that came on stock with my device. So this is the default Samsung Internet, but you can also download the APK for beta if you would like to try new features. Now let's first just take a look at the regular stock Samsung Internet. So this is what it looks like. Here is the tabs page, especially if you would like to view it as tabs. You can also take a look at it as stack or list, but you'll see a difference between the grid list right here. So this is the grid, which really is just mostly just stacked is really what I'm seeing. And when you go through and you tap on new tab, this is what it looks like. And then down over here, this is where you have additional settings and additional features. So this is what this one looks like. That's the one that you have on your phone right now. And then if you'd like to download the, the, the APK, I'll show you where you can download it. This is the main page. So this is right here. If you go to new tab, this is what it looks like. And I also went through my settings and I put my tabs on the top. So if I would like to switch between my tabs there, I can. But this is that new tab page. It just looks much better. You have a bunch of really nice privacy information that's just sitting right here. So you can see here, this is what a grid is supposed to look like. Beforehand, it was kind of looking as if it was more of like a stack where they were separated though. So it was almost like a mixture of list and stack. So here is a true real grid list when it comes down over into your pages. Now I do wanna show you just a little bit of information about this update, especially if you would like to download it. I'll place this link below the video inside the description. It is only showing the APKs from Samsung. Every single thing here that you see is a Samsung application or service. And the update was just pushed out on September 14th. There's the version. This is the one that we'd be taking a look at. And then when you tap up right over there, this is where you can read a little bit more details. And then this is also where you'd be able to find the area of where you're able to download this one. To find it quicker, you can just go right here and it goes to scroll to available downloads. And then this is where you'll find the APK. Once you tap on that, then you'll be able to find this version. So this is right there, that blue box, or it could be even a different color, but as long as it says download APK and it's right around 268 megabytes, that is the download button that you're looking for for this Samsung internet beta. Now to take a look at what is new with this update, if we go and take a look at the information, I can take a look at this one inside of my app store. You can see that I still have to update it. So for this newest version, you have auto close unused tabs and newly upgraded grid view mode for tab manager. So now that this has updated, let's take a look at those two brand new features. One of those is when you take a look at your tabs right here on the top right hand side, this is where those two brand new features are. First off, you can view it as, I mean, if you maybe had yours in list or if you had yours that was in stack, then here's the new version or updated version of grid. Now remember what it used to look like from before on the regular stock, you know, uh, Samsung internet, this right here is their version of grid. Again, it, to me, it's more like stacked because it's not really a grid. This is what it looks like now. Then you also have your auto close settings. So this is also new for the update. So if you have any tabs that have been open for more than seven days, they will auto close or 30, or you can also just go right there with the smart tab management. It'll close them as soon as it detects you're done, that you're not using it anymore. So if you want to be safe and you want them to at least close down, just give them about 30 days. Or if you're somebody who is pretty good at closing out tabs and applications and such, this is where you go right up over here to never, because then for me, I'm very good at it. I can look at all my tabs and know for a fact, I'm not using like these three or eight anymore. And I'll just hit on the little X's to get rid of them. So these are the brand new features when it comes down over into the newer Samsung internet. Now, if you haven't used Samsung internet for a minute, here's a few cool features that you're able to do. Let's say that you are reading an article on the bottom right hand side, you can swipe right over here and then you can have this thing read aloud. Now, as this is playing out, it's just going to read every single thing that is on the list and it's going to highlight everything at the same time. I know that Google Chrome does this as well, but if you are somebody who loves Google Chrome because it has read aloud, this one has it too, and it works very well. This is where you can also change some of the settings if you would like to. So if I go right up in here, I can make it faster. I can go back, I can go forward. And then there's even more settings with this one. Or if you need it to go slower, just tap there and make it go quicker or slower. So yes, you do have read aloud that is here. Another feature that I like is let's say that you are looking at a website right here and that website actually has an application as well. You can tap on the application icon right there 
opening up your application. So it just happens to be that if you were there and you're searching it from the internet, regular website, you can just go through the uh, the application. Now let's say that we start a new tab and we want to do this again. So let's say that we we're just looking at YouTube. Uh, for some reason, we went to the regular you know YouTube page on the internet or whatever. Uh, again, there is that YouTube icon. It'll take you directly over into YouTube. So I close out of a few of my tab. Let's say that we open up a new one and right there, this is just the regular page, right? So this is where you can go through and you can edit some of the stuff. So you can edit some of the shortcuts that you view. Uh, you can also get other content to show from other devices, the most used pages. You can even change your wallpaper. So that wallpaper that you see here, you are able to switch that up. A few of the additional settings right over here is if you go inside of the settings, you also have web page view and scrolling. You also have layout and menu. So this is where I went through and I showed my tab bar on the top. You can also, if you would like to, move your address bar to the bottom. You were able to do that from before on the original Samsung Internet. But if you've never used it for a while, you're using Google Chrome. That is something that you're able to do. And then you can take a look at your privacy dashboard. This is where you're able to uh, stop a lot of trackers and all that stuff. So right over here, mine is just on standard. You can actually go to strict if you would like, and it would block all trackers. Uh, I just haven't done that just yet. So you can see that I am on just moderate, which is just the recommended one. And then also what you can do is down over here, when you go inside of just these options down here, you have add blockers. So not only are you blocking your trackers, if you'd like to, you can download right here, add block for Samsung internet. So in this way, you'd be able to block all the ads and stuff like that that you would see uh, when you were just going through all of your different web pages. So looking at this one, you could block annoying ads, tracking protection, improve security and privacy, language specific filter lists. Annoying ads are always blocked. A small number of non-intrusive ads are displayed by default, disable anytime. And then the last step, open up your Samsung internet and then turn on ad block for Samsung internet. And again, I always like to use beta. So I'm going to go right over here. I'm going to go to always. And then this is where now that we have installed it, we just turn it on. And there we go. Now we have ad block for Samsung Internet as well. Oh, and by the way, if you appreciate this video, maybe this helped you out or you have learned something, not only is liking, hitting that subscribe button and the bell for notifications helpful to the content creator, but one brand new feature on YouTube is right next to your comments. If you swipe over, you're able to hype up this video again, helping the content creator. If you do this, I do appreciate it. So that's everything I wanted to share in today's video. Just a quick little update of what is new with this newer version. Again, when you take a look at your tabs, you have the newer version of the grid style. And then you also have the auto close settings. And then I showed off a few additional features, such as if you happen to be on a website that also has an application, you can just tap on the icon. It'll get you directly there. And then a few of the other things that I showed off, such as the privacies and the tracking and the auto blocking and all that good stuff. And also the reading aloud of the page. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.